Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome to episode 20 of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark. Today's episode, we have for you two games. First of all, in the FA Trophy against St Albans City in the third round, that is, and against Chesterfield in the Vanarama National League. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed today's episode, please leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. It all helps here on YouTube. Roll credits. Hello and uh, welcome along to this episode 20 and a uh, quick look at what's been happening since you were last with us. As you'll see, uh, last time out, Eastleigh and Gateshead, 2-1-1 draws, bit of a dour um, episode that was. Uh, but since then, we have beat Altrincham by two goals to nil. James Clark and Manny Norquette uh, getting the goals in that one away from home. And then we played Halifax Town and beat them by two goals to nil. The right camera, Mark. Uh, yeah, beat them by two goals to nil. And um, goals from uh, Sam Osborne and Bobby Camwa. And then a 1 1 draw against Hudder, uh, Huddersfield <laughs> against Oldershot Town. Um, that one, not quite such a good one. We managed to uh, score a, a goal after 89 minutes after a pretty much even match against Oldershot Town. They got an equaliser, um, literally. Uh, Three minutes later, two minutes later, um, we thought we'd rounded that up by a, a Harry Bung goal in 89 minutes, but uh, it wasn't to be. Older shot just threw everything out of the kitchen sink at us and managed to get past us on this occasion. You see, it was pretty even Stevens throughout the match and uh, they, uh, they beat us, <clears throat> basically. So uh, that's uh, how... Well, didn't beat us. That's how they got uh, back level with us. And to say the other two games, where does that leave us in the table? Well, it's still on top and eight points clear of Wrexham now. Um, we were, I think, eight points clear of uh, Torquay last time you uh, was with us. Uh, Chesterfield were uh, lurking around there as well. And we're now 11 points clear of Chesterfield, who've dropped down the table a little bit. Our second opponents of today's episode, uh, Wrexham are... They're having a run, a, a one heck of a run at the moment. They are piling up the chart, up the charts, up the uh, table, and uh, they probably are our biggest threat at the moment in the form that they are on. Having said all of that, they were down as favourites at the start of the season, as you'll see, ninety-one to one. I think they were one hundred and sixty-seven to one at one point. Uh, we're still thirty-three to one to get promoted. Uh, and still expect to finish 18th. I think that's probably full gone now, um, as we have enough gap at the top. So uh, a Wrexham match coming up will be uh, quite important. Um, and there it is. Um, I think we played them early in the season and beat them by four goals to two at home. But away is going to be a different story for sure. Um, just played them that once um, to date, um, but it's there. So whatever happens that's where we're aiming for and it could be a double header Torquay and Wrexham both tucked in behind us so that could be um, a key point in uh, the uh, scheduling Torquay and Wrexham which fits quite well actually because think about the 20th of January is the next round of the FA Trophy if we get past two days first opponents St Albans City of course which is uh, what we have to do next uh, and talking about that, let's get on with the episode and the games in hand. It's St Albans City then, uh, who are from the Vanarama National League North. Which seems really bizarre because they are in the South. Come on. Even my geographics aren't that bad. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, my geography's not bad that bad, but I know where St Albans City is and uh, it's not in the north um, obviously they couldn't fit all the teams in the north so st Albans city have joined the north they got a lot of traveling to do then um so that's uh, our opponents today in the fa trophy third round as we know 
because we were a team in the Van Rama National League North and beat a team in the Van Rama National League, it can be done. Let's hope it's not us that goes on the old banana skin today. And this is the team to face St. Alban City in this uh, bit. It says Builder Base. It's now the ICU um, Cup or trophy. Uh, but anyway, we've had a lot of change arounds in the team. Uh, we're a number of players complaining and want to leave. So uh, we've got to be careful that the uh, the we don't become unwieldy with players wanting to leave and uh, lose the uh, dressing room. Uh, but a bit of a change around today. Madison has been agreed as our cup goalkeeper. So he's in today. Ayana out on the left, Granite and Jackson in central midfield with Senior out on the right, Elliot and Mundell in front of them, Gerolamo, uh, Spence and Osborne are, are attacking midfield, Hardy up front, and Doa, Linton, Clark, Raymond and Norquette all on the bench. Um, just check and see Hardy. I think he plays better as a pressing forward he does. Um, so that's why he's on as a pressing forward. Gerolamo. Um, He's better as a winger on attack. So maybe, just maybe, we set him up as a winger. Osborne on the other side. He is best as a winger on support. So let's put him as a winger on support. Doesn't look right to me. I don't know if that looked right to you. Uh, what am I doing? Can I do that? Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. So that is the team then that will face St. Albans. Just to uh, recap, um, players wanting to leave. Jackson wants to leave. Senior is about to leave, we think. Uh, Elliot wants to leave. Um, Spence wants to leave. Um, that's pretty much it at the moment. And Doa is also asking to leave. So uh, that is uh, a few players that want to leave and uh, miss the chance of being promoted to the uh, Football League. Yeah. This is how the two teams face off against one another. We're playing a 4-2-3-1. They are playing a 4-4-2, very conventional 4-4-2. Strevens is, uh, Ben Strevens is the manager at uh, St. Albans City. This is the first half. First highlight, you join us 14 minutes in. Throw in on that far side to Spence Mundell, Elliot. Elliot comes forward. He's been robbed in midfield. And Jeffers comes forward. Back to Jeffers. And we are in danger here. But Ayana wins that ball very sweetly. Granite. Granite gets the ball forward, looking for Osborne, finds him. Osborne in fine form, pushes that ball forward. Hardy hadn't, uh, not on the same wavelength at all. Run it, heads that down to Elliot, Gerolamo, Hardy, into Spence, Spence, should have scored, goalkeeper making a fine save, free kick just outside the box, Osborne stands over it, Osborne our free kick specialist, has a go from distance, the, goal, the goalkeeper parried it, and Joe Hardy's in, and scores a poacher's effort, 1-0, 18 minutes on the clock. Fine effort from Osborne. Hardy, quick to react. Ball forward. So cut out. Blood over the top looking for Jeffers. But uh, Ayana tidies up. Madison fires a long one forward for Hardy. The ball's been missed. Hardy's in and over the top. Ball through midfield. Spence into space now. Against the defender. Mundell tidies up. Osborne. Back to Mundell. Mundell leaves it for Elliot. Out wide for Girolamo. Girolamo playing in a winger's role. Elliot cuts it inside. Spence gets his second goal of the season. And a fine effort. And Sion Spence trying to prove that we shouldn't let him go. Lovely ball. 2-0, 36 on the clock. Daniels with a free kick, swings it in. It's bobbling around. And somebody, I think it was Elliot, cleared that. 
for a corner. Daniels with the corner. And Madison comes out and collects that. And half time comes. And uh, a lot of players here trying to prove themselves that uh, we're foolish to let them go. Nine shots, five on target, over our 50%, which I like. 1.71 on the XG, 53% possession. Uh, I would say at the moment, looking at the XG as well, we are in control. And the goal kicks. First highlight of the second half, 55 on the clock. Back to the goalkeeper. He comes out of his area. Very brash. And Senior will get to this one. Plenty of time, plenty of space. Madison makes himself available to receive. Granite. Elliot, Elliot to Ayana, Ayana forward to Girolamo, trying to find Spence, didn't find him though, and poor boy over the top, Jeffers has got there, he's beaten the goalkeeper and it's gone wide, it's come off of the defender, who, def oh, who defended that, I'd like to see that again actually, uh, we can go back just slightly, I want to see who defended that because that was good defensive work. And I like this ball over the top. Jeffers, Madison almost makes himself a, a nuisance, but it's Granite that does the work. And uh, good defended by Granite. Daniels now. Swings it in. Ayana heads that clear. Ayana and Granite having a fine game in defence so far. I want to put the mockers on it. That ball's Madison tries to come in, punches it. Spence heads the ball clear. And as you come and join me, we made the one, two changes. The two players I've been saying have been playing really well. Josh Granite and Jordan Ayana both scored a seven average rating. Had a, a half decent game, but worn themselves out in the process. But they've uh, they've had a good game. Uh, we've brought on uh, Levi Andoa, who wants to leave. Um, brought him on for a bit of game time in central defence. And Josiah Linton who is our normal uh, wing back on the left side, come on for uh, Jordan Ayana, who once again has had a great game. He's, uh, he's the unemphasised uh, stalwart in that defence. He, uh, when, he, when he's in the team, he does have, we'll have a look at his form uh, in between games, but um, he is uh, he's a steady Eddie and uh, doesn't throw in many bad, um, bad uh, appearances. So uh, I'm, I'm sort of inclined to, if we can keep Ayana, we'll try and keep him because he is he is very handy to have around the place. And he come back and join us for the third and final substitution of the match. Jaden Redmond is on for uh, Sion Spence, who again is tired as 7.3 for him on the average rating. So he's had a good game as well. Jaden Redmond is going to get only a couple of minutes, just a quick run out. Uh, he comes on as that attacking playmaker. And it's all over. It's a 2-0 win against St. Albans City. Um, we did the damage in the first 36 minutes. Could have really uh, added goals to that, I guess. But uh, we uh, we could have absolutely upped the ante and gone really, really attacking. But um, we decided against it in the end. Uh, but as you'll see, a fairly... Um, the players that were on did very well. Linton, of course, only come on towards the end. Girolamo, probably the only player of the original outfield that uh, didn't uh, score. Now, Josh Granite, that was seven, and that went down to a 6.9. So how did that work? Um, when he came off, it was showing a seven. Um, and I think it's a bit unjust, to be fair. I think a seven was a fair uh, thing for Josh Granite. Um, yeah, and even the players that came on, Levi and Doa, a 7.2 as well. Um, who else came on? Roman, Roman, uh, Romain Mundell had the best. He's 7.9. Uh, but anyway, we had 11 shots, five on target. So we didn't actually have any more on targets. A two uh, XG, 54% uh, possession. They had 10 shots, two on target in the end. Uh, what comes next? The draw for the fourth round of the FA Trophy. And if that's only if... And I need to check before uh, we we do that. Otherwise, we'll be back for our second game of the episode.
And so the draw for the builder base uh, or the ice stew uh, fourth round. And as I've said before, we go fourth round, fifth round, quarterfinal, semifinal. Uh, this is the draw then. Uh, plenty of teams still in the draw. We won't go through them. Uh, there are too many to look at. Let's get the draw underway. Filed out first of the Vanarama National League North. We'll play Maidenhead of the South. Tunbridge Angels will play Hereford. South End or Horsham will play Yeovil Town. Chester will play Buxton. So away to Chester, the Van Rama National League North. Chester. Um, we'll have a look in a minute and see if we have played them previously. We won't draw the rest of the teams. There are the rest of the teams. If you want to have a look, your favourite team and amongst that lot. I'll leave it on the screen for a second or you can pause it. How does that affect? There we go. Chester down here, as we thought, 20th of January. We have played them twice before. We lost um, in the National League North uh, last season. I think it was last season. Um, back in September 22 by two goals to nil. They did. That was before I took them over, I think. Um, and then uh, beat them 3-2 at their place uh, in the National League North. So uh, we'll see. Could be a different kettle of fish this time around. So um, it's looking like then um, our next episode, possibly spending more Chester, and then we'll come back for Torquay Wrexham. Um, just check when the fifth round is schedule we go into here we can have a look draw for the fifth round on the 22nd the fifth round is on the 17th of february 17th of february go back into here it's the same day as the Wrexham game ah uh, so that's going to bosh our talky Wrexham episode possibly if we get past chester We'll have to see how that falls out, of course. Uh, right, so we'll work out what we're going to do about coming back for the next episode. Uh, we've really just got to concentrate on today's match against Chesterfield. Not played them before. Um, we know that they are ex-Football um, League. They have a history. Um, as you see, as far as League One, the highest they ever went was in 2014-15. When they finished sixth, got relegated from League One in 2016 2017. Um, then got relegated the same season, so straight drop through League Two um, in 17 18. And since then, they've uh, been in the Vanarama National League, finishing 15th, 20th, 6th, 7th, and 5th. So that's how um, they have gone on um i have been offered a new contract um which um the negotiations fell apart as they usually do um so uh that came to nothing and uh it does mean that uh, we're back to square one as far as that is concerned um and i'm still holding out a for a decent pay rise and two i want this under 21 team otherwise other teams are going to come in for us at some point or other and uh, to be fair, if uh, they've got an under-21 team, we possibly will be moving on from Buxton. Right, without any more to do, let's get on with the episode. And the second game of that episode it is against Chesterfield in the Van Rama National League. And we want to continue our good form in that and open a bit more daylight up at the top because Wrexham are chasing us. And the team that will face uh, Chesterfield in this Vanarama National League match on Boxing Day in-game. And uh, we have Molden back in goal. Linton, Greenwich and Gamble in mid in defence with Senior making his uh, penultimate uh, appearance in the right-back position. He has gone. He has been sold to Walsall. Wanted to leave. He is leaving. Um, as soon as the transfer windows opens on the 1st of January. Mundell and Camois in front of them. Raymond Moss and Clark are attacking 
uh, midfield with Norkett up front and Doa, Ayana, Greaves, Abun and Hardy all on the bench. And this is how the two teams face up. Paul Cook, the manager at uh, Chesterfield. And we're playing, they're playing a very similar formation to us. The uh, danger man up front, Tushminga, who we've tried to buy on a couple of occasions, didn't want to come to us. Uh, for whatever reason, he is uh, leading scorer at Chesterfield. So he is the danger man. And uh, that is uh, the, how the two teams look as we go into this one. And our first highlight, 29 minutes on the clock. Long ball floated forward. We're playing in pink today. I'm not sure why we're at home. Moss flicks that ball out wide for Clark. Clark on the ball, comes forward. No support in the area. He's crossed that and not quite sure what went on there. And that being our only highlight of the first half, we picked up three bookings, two in the first four minutes, which isn't good news. We've had five shots, none of which are on target, 0.33. Chesterfield have had four shots, one on target, 0.37. They've had the bulk of the possession as well. We are a um, little bit behind in this one. Uh, the only good news is so far, Tashmanga isn't... Um, on full form. First highlight, 66 minutes on the clock. It's a throw in for Chesterfield. And they're on the ball. Not had a look in so far. Gamble underneath that one. Mundell heads down to Linton. Greenwich gets it forward looking for Norkett. But uh, Norkett. Oh, and Tashmanga's in, and he's just put it wide. And you join us with three changes having been made. A risk, Ross Greenidge is off for Levi Andoa. Uh, Joel Senior is off for Jordan Ayana. And James Clark has come off for Harry Bum. We've had a bit of a shuffle round. Moss has gone out to the right. Raymond has gone in the middle. Bun has gone out to the left. And uh, hoping to see if we can get that way through. We've also gone attacking. And I like Raymond with a free kick. Floats it in. And it's just gone wide from Gamble. Bun with a free kick. Still looking for that way through. It's come back out. And uh, they have a break on. But Ayana is uh, there. Picks the ball up. Gets it out of Bun. And Bun loses it on that wing. And they have a breakaway. Please, oh, Bun wins the ball back. Is this highlight going to continue? And Doa in defence. Kamwa, Kamwa looking for Norket. Norket, Downing misses his header. Norket, is he going to score a winner? He doesn't. Blast it wide. And it's all over. It's a nil-nil draw. And uh, one that we should have probably won, but uh, frustrating to say the least, but uh, at the end of the day, we've uh, not lost, and our uh, unbeaten record goes to 23 games in the National League since we joined. We haven't lost so far, touch wood, and uh, as you'll see, uh, we did end up with two up front, Moss alongside Norcat. Norcat not having a fantastic game, but uh, Moss playing a good game and uh, finished it up alongside uh, Norkett, maybe Moss should be the player that's up front. We'll see. How does that uh, leave the table looking? Well, only three games were played today. Barrow uh, losing 2-1 to older shots. Scunthorpe beating Notts County by two goals to nil. And our nil-nil draw against Chesterfield. Uh, Chesterfield are fourth as it currently stands. We've played one game more than the, uh, Wrexham and Torquay immediately behind us, which means that the nine-point lead we've got could be down to uh, six points. If Wrexham win that game, uh, they'll only be six points behind us and uh, coming up fast. The only difference is we have a superior goal difference. Not that that makes any difference if they pass us on points. Wrexham are biggest threat to being promoted at the moment and games like the game today against Chesterfield are the ones that we should be winning in order to keep that one step ahead of them. A missed opportunity today and we could have, uh, if we'd won today, We'd have uh, really still been those uh, eight points in front of them had they won their game. 
anyway, that's how it stands. Let's have a look and see what's coming up on our next episode. Then we'll clear all this up in due course. Um, right, we want the chest again. It's many more, a 20th, Notts County, a 14th. So we're definitely coming back for the chest again. Um, I'm thinking. Oldham, York and Boreham Wood offline possibly. Spennymore and Chester then and then we'll come back for Torquay and Wrexham, albeit the Wrexham one could get blown to bits because of the uh, FA Trophy if we get past Chester. It will become apparent. It will become apparent as uh, time time moves on. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. That will keep you up to date with all future episodes of To Be A Legend and new series as they are released. If you want to keep up to date what's happening on this channel, then you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Uh, new episodes of To Be A Legend released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. Now we're clear of New Year. Everything's back to normal. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next episode. It'll be episode 21. It's out on Monday. Until then, I'd like to wish you a very good weekend. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>